people panic, but use your head. It was in this very room in Newark where Governor Phil Murphy delivered his first press conference on COVID-19 in February 2020. The health concern is much different this time, but efforts to not let it get out of hand are similar, as 10 million acres of Canada wildfire smoke continues to put a chokehold on the Garden State. Our top priority, as always, is to protect the health and safety of all New Jerseyans, so we encourage everyone to take precautions and stay inside if possible. We recommend that you check the local air quality levels daily uh, using sites like uh, US EPA's uh, airnow.gov and search by your zip code. The state says it's distributing N95 masks in six locations around the state, including Newark Penn Station, Hoboken, Secaucus, and Trenton. New Jersey Transit staff will distribute those masks. And please ask if you need a mask, ask for one. Over in Patterson, a mask manufacturer based in the city, Protective Health Gear, is ready to donate up to 10,000 KN95 style masks. The principals of Protective Health Gear reached out to me yesterday immediately and said we want to start donating again, which they've done repeatedly. The masks are available at City Hall, police headquarters, and more than a half dozen firehouses. But Mayor Andre Sayas says the smoke has already made its impact. We've seen a significant uptick in calls for service to our EMS for respiratory emergencies. Mm -hmm. And I can quantify it, it was 30%. We're not overwhelmed. We are seeing cases that we believe to be related to air quality coming in. Dr. Jared Dikowski is the assistant director of the emergency department at Hackensack University Medical Center. We're seeing some cases on our adult side, but we're seeing a little bit more coming in on the pediatric side. Children, older adults, and those with prior medical conditions like asthma are at highest risk. Doctors say to mask up outside, preferably with an N95 mask, to hopefully prevent a visit to the ER. So I highly recommend this. If you don't have this, cloth masks will do, but they're not ideal. What about KN95 or something? KN95 is good as well. Now, another health system, RWJ Barnabas Health, told me they too have seen a slight increase in patients visiting the ED across their system as it relates to air quality.